Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear first order differential equation using an integrating factor. An integrating factor is a function that we multiply both sides of the equation by that makes determining the solution of the differential equation much easier. But the first step is to make sure the given differential equation is in the correct form, which is the form dy dt plus p of t times y equals f of t. Notice how the given differential equation is not in the correct form we need this term negative y divided by t on the left side of the equation. And because we also want that term to be in the form of p of t times y, we'll write that term as one over t times y. So again, moving this term to the left side of the equation, we would have dy dt plus, let's write this as one divided by t times y equals five. By writing this term in this form, we now know that p of t equals one divided by t. This is important because the next step is to find the integrating factor, which is mu of t equals e raised to the power of the integral of p of t dt. So again, p of t is equal to one divided by t. The integrating factor mu of t is equal to e raised to the power of the integral of p of t dt, which would be one divided by t dt. Well, the integral of one divided by t dt is equal to natural log absolute value of t. So now we have e raised to the power of natural log absolute value of t. When determining the integrating factor, we don't include the constant of integration. And we're also told that t is greater than zero. And because we have base e and the exponent is natural log, which is log base e, this simplifies very nicely to just t. So it is important to always simplify the integrating factor as much as possible. Step three, we now multiply both sides of the differential equation in this form here by t. So we'd have t times dy dt plus one divided by t times t times y equals t times five or five t. Let's go ahead and simplify here we just have t dy dt plus y or plus one y equals five t. Now that we've multiplied both sides of the equation by the integrating factor and then simplified, the left side is now the derivative of the product of mu of t and y, which means this sum here is the derivative with respect to t of mu of t, which is t times y. Of course, we can check this. We'd have to apply the product rule here. We'd have the first function, t, times the derivative of the second function. The derivative of y with respect to t is dy dt, plus the second function, which is y, times the derivative of t with respect to t, which is one. So again, this sum is the derivative of the product of t and y, where t is the integrating factor. And the right side is still five t. And now for our last step, we integrate both sides of the equation and then solve for y. So we'd have the integral of the derivative with respect to t of t times y, integrated with respect to t equals the integral of five t integrated with respect to t. Let's continue on the next slide. On the left side, the integral and derivative undo each other. And we're just left with the integrand function t times y. We would have a constant of integration but we'll also have one on the right, so we'll just combine them on the right. So we have t times y equals, the integral of five t with respect to t would be five times t squared divided by two, or five halves t squared, plus a constant of integration, which we'll call c. So notice now to solve for y and find our general solution, we need to divide both sides of the equation by t. So we would just have y or y of t, equals, well t squared divided by t would just be t, so we have five halves t plus, and we could leave this term in this form here, but we can also write c divided by t as c times t raised to the power of negative one. Notice how in this form, the t is raised to the power of positive one in the denominator. So if we write this quotient as a product, or move t to the first up to the numerator, it changes the exponent to negative one. So this is the general solution to the given differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.